What's happening folks, how y'all doing out there? Today I want to show you a few of my favourite places to take photos in Philadelphia. These aren't necessarily the best places to go for a photo shoot or for street photography, but basically my friends were visiting from Scotland and I wanted to take them to see all the main sites and my favourite places around the city. I took photos of them all day, but I've compiled this shorter list of some of my favourite spots and also just spots where the light was nicer at that time of day because earlier on in the day it was all shit light. And also because they came over from Scotland I had them bring some hobnobs, some after eights, a pack of Tunnock's tea cakes, some walnut whips from Marks and Spencer's so apparently they couldn't find normal ones, and an easter egg because easter in America is just not the same as in the UK. They also brought British tea and a bunch of other stuff as well, but I've ate, I've ate most of it at this point. So for the whole day out shooting, I had the GoPro on top of the camera, so I'm going to switch over to that and do a bit of a voiceover to talk you through the places I'm at. Our first spot was the Philly Waterworks. It's located right behind the art museum, so if you're going there anyways, it's worth going down to the Waterworks for a look. We didn't stay here for too long, the light was terrible and I was not getting good pictures. Whenever I try and take pictures of my, my pals, they just take the piss the entire time. Further up the hill on the way towards the art museum, there's this little gazebo type thing which I think looks really cool. I took this black and white photo of it. Looks okay, not the best photo of it I've took there. Again, I was complaining about the light. The art museum itself is a really cool place to go and shoot. This is the spot where Sylvester Stallone runs up the steps in the first Rocky movie and like air boxes at the top. That spot's like right behind my camera just now, and I'm shooting them standing at the art museum itself. I quite like the photos I got there, I like the geometric, like the pillars, the lines, it kind of frames them in the middle, and I did a close up of them as well, in the same sort of position. I just want to point out that I'm not posing them in any particularly like fancy way, I'm just basically telling them to stand in like the place to get the touristy photo, and just doing like really simple posing because it was freezing cold that day. See, see that, see that? That the first two yes. sweet statue things right in between them. Uh, just in the middle and like you can face me if you want because the sun will be behind you. And now I'm going to send them down to the edge of the rocky steps so basically right beside where Sylvester Sloan ran up and did his air boxing but I'm shooting the other direction so you're going to see City Hall in the background and the art museum is now behind me. I was so fixated on getting the getting City Hall in the frame that I did not see this like bollard that I'd placed them behind on the floor, which looked ridiculous. So I ended up doing this cropped kind of composition where their legs are cut off. Um, don't love this photo, but I'm glad I got the shot anyways because I think it kind of is still a Philadelphia looking photo. The wind's like blowing in my eyes. I'm like tears coming out my eyes trying to fucking look through the thing. I lost all feeling in my hands when they went blue. Sorry. <laughs> then we headed down to the Old City. There's this old residential street that's still residential to this day. It's like the oldest one in Philly or one of the oldest in the country. But anyways, it's these super old houses and it's a big tourist trap in the summertime. But I brought them here and we walked around here for a bit, got a couple of photos. But I wanted to bring them here because it's just a really cool like Philadelphia icon type place and it was definitely worth bringing them to see. Now the next spot is a hotel, which right. I'm pretty certain is not a tourist trap in the summer, but I do know it's got these really cool stairs in the bottom and it's right in the centre of the city. And whenever there's a wedding here, there's Maxwell, this is a really popular a place bit, so to go and shoot. You've got this like reflective marble wall here and these right, so massive like stairs and I just think it's a really cool sort of grand looking photo. And while you're there, if you can get up the stairs in the hotel, maybe ask one of the porters or something if you're allowed to go up there. The top floor is where a lot of weddings are held and there's these huge glass windows with a really cool view over Philadelphia. So if you can get up here, it's totally worth coming up for a nice free view of the Philadelphia skyline from up high. Maxwell, move six inches to your left. Spot on. Do you want to do one where you're both in the same window? So like, right. 
I want you to both kneel on the thing, just pull each other in. I can't even get sick of me telling you this. Get in close to each other, but face each other. Okay, what I mean? So kneel and face each other. I'm just doing like a silhouette, and then Maxwell, turn on, I'll see how, see how she's sitting. That's it. So connect to the hip. That's exactly what I want you to do. I love these photos here because they're like framed within the frame of the window and then the city is behind it and it just kind of draws your eye in because they're silhouetted out and I, I, I just really love this photo, I love this angle. Then after that they're all like looking around the different rooms upstairs, looking at the different views and my wife walks over to that window and has a little look out and I snap this photo which again I totally love that photo, I love the harsh contrast, I like the really dark shadows in there and the, the light coming in through the window. I think it looks awesome, really pleased with that one. After the hotel we headed down Broad Street, we walked down the street a bit and into the middle. This is another really popular tourist spot. Basically everybody that comes to Philly will come and take this photo and it's really popular with weddings as well. So I wanted to come down here and get this shot in the middle of the street looking down at City Hall. Now, the last place we went to is Love Statue. This used to be in a really cool park that had a huge waterfall behind it and the waterfall would like shoot up behind Love Statue and you get some really cool photos of that but they, they took away the water, the, not the waterfall, what's it called, a fountain. They took away the fountain and now it's flat. Um, I guess they like added more seating and it made it easier to, to walk through the centre of the city but, but whatever, it's still cool to come and shoot with a Love Statue. And that's it for today's video, thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe if you haven't already, drop me a comment below if you have anything to say about it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! Thumbs up.